Listen, 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 and toss it in your face. When in the history of ever has a woman, irrespective of the equality that modern women dwell in today, when has ever a guy been this jacked up and the woman is saying to herself, okay, when he gets up off on top of me, damn, he about to get evicted. Let me go give him some money. They don't even mess with you when you living with your mama. But see, that's, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> you know how that see that's sick bro and then want to come around trying to trying to do all that extra stuff but then you expect the man to do that for you like you got to reflect that too you know but then when the guy is just like just like what this whole entire caption says like if a man is sleeping with a woman then it shouldn't be a reason why he should he, he doesn't provide for her or help her financially no like you think that you think he's just gonna be like oh, oh yeah oh oh uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. Subscribe, mm, uh, 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 uh. and then you know lays the seat on 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 the on the breasts or some whatever how all that stuff goes in the sceneries of a uh, Mass Effect or whatever game or movie whatever right and then next thing you know you just wake up and she's just like here's my electric bill here's my gas bill here's my here's the like whoa whoa whoa. <laughs> Like yo, that makes no. <laughs> yo, that makes no sense, bro. And then if it was the other way around, and like let's say like she slept in his bed, right? Like and he'd be like, here, here's the electric bill, here's the gas bill, here's the car note, here's the like, whoa. Like look, look, and and if, let alone, oh, don't let it be the guy at the mom's house thing. Like I still don't understand that concept, bro. Like honestly. In a sense, you don't even, like, un you wouldn't, like, most women wouldn't understand that unless they were in that position to begin with. And then even the women that probably do that also come with double standards and a lot of stupid stuff, like, obviously. Like, it's kind of dumb, bro. Like, I don't understand why people do that or, like, women in some cases do that. I don't see any other people doing that. I don't see any guy doing that at all, in my opinion, unless they've just been raised around, like, women or something like that or I don't know. But like, yo, know, I I just couldn't I couldn't do that, bro. Like I couldn't like just look at someone and then if they'd be like, oh, because you live with your mom, I'm not interested in you. Like, yo, you don't even know why that person's living there to begin with, bro. Like, like a lot of the times it could be a financial thing. And everybody doesn't. Everybody should understand this economy and all this stuff, and yet they still complain about all this material and material, and material. Like, and they and they know that there's like literally. Well, I hope they do with, with the two percent. Of people that just absolutely have no, like, don't even have no concern about money because they have so much or whatever of that nature. And then, like, like that's and that's the reason why a lot of like relationships tear apart because of stuff like that. Okay, they always want to focus on financial. Like, they think financial freedom is going to be the true happiness, but they can't even accept the fact they're even in that position to begin with. And like, because like when it comes to love. For a partner is different from loving like material because the act like the way you like put effort in two things differently those are two different things like you you get that material to provide for the family because you love them but it's different like and like you know because if you were to be towards the like let's say like you like a guy it was just in the freaking like like in the forest days or when when it used to be just the caveman cave woman and all that right and it always be like you know the bond they don't really care about none of that material stuff because they both go hunting they both do things mutually together in synergy to make sure they can provide for each other and both can do things together as one and now there's all this oh to be a man this role this this and that and this and then there's a that and that you see the separation like a lot of i'm not saying like oh women are just as capable of lifting heavy things like i'm sure like, as long as a woman was born and she actually, like, probably weightlifted all her life, I'm sure she probably can handle stuff that, that just, like, a average guy, like, you know, can pick up and stuff. Like, if not more. But, like, I don't know. It's just, that's, that's why I see that lax in a relationship is, like, the synergy. You know, you both are just getting together for, just to get together, it seems like. It's like, like, 
when you actually can tell an actually good relationship is a thing, you it, it, you can tell the longevity, you know. Just like, because she's giving you her insides, you feel as though you gotta pay her bills. I mean, my G, <laughs> get it to a degree if you plan on marrying said woman, if you are fiance engaged to said woman, but if she's just but that's the type of energy that you want i mean he just said it in the video that he really is only beginning to understand that himself and his manhood have value so this is what happens when men are not affirmed and men believe in the feminist dogma and bullshit that women are prizes simply for existing while men are inadequate for simply being men if i gave a why i would want her to date a future because it takes for you to date a future to even get a rustle what Like your son or is going to be whoever he wants to be. Like honestly, he could he's going to be most likely out of those two, he's going to be choosing himself. I hope so. I hope he chooses himself over just because of people being like Russell Wilson or like Future, like and more like being himself as a like that. I don't understand why people want to be like ugh. I don't. I, you know, you know. I'm just going. You know, maybe I'm just saying too much, bro. Yeah, I really want to change maybe I'm doing too much. I'm sorry. It takes for you to date a future to even get a rustle. No, it doesn't. The idea that you have to get ran through in order to get a man to later on settle with you is literally preposterous. It's like saying as a man, I have to go murder people in order to understand how not to be a murderer. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> Yo, that's why I was just like, wait, what? To be like Russell Wilson. You don't need to experience Russell Wilson to be a Russell Wilson. You should be yourself, you know? You have a, especially, so, and see, that's, that's what pisses me off with a lot of people. You try to live other people's lifestyle, okay? Live your own lifestyle, okay? Just because you're not getting all the extra gold and, like, the, the good old, um, you know, innards from multiple women or like the guys that flex their chains or stuff like just you don't have to fit to their lifestyle you're literally putting a mask on yourself for who you really are as a person you know it's just and then you got to keep that image up now because now you got women coming around and then when you get together how are you both are going to be able to look at each other in the long run like when you actually start like to fold when you're when your actual true lifestyle comes and smacks you in your face you th and that woman leaves you. That's going to be whose fault? It's going to be yours, isn't it? Stop doing that. Seriously. Like, I'm helping you out with this right now. And I'm not saying, I'm not, honestly, those that obviously don't need that kind of help right now, I'm not talking to you, all right? Obviously, I don't, like, obviously, when I talk like this, I'm talking to people that actually do this, okay? Come on. <laughs> Still, though, come on. Get yourself together. Stop trying to act like everybody else. Be yourself. Accept your own lifestyle. And I promise you, there's a lot more people that will accept you that actually will mean well more than the people that you're trying to leave the lifestyle up towards that's absolutely not yours, by the way, that will actually come to you with actual genuine action, love, faith, believes, believes in you and all that shit. All of that. Okay? Like, literally. Come on, people. Come on. Like, that's just like the girls on Instagram. Like, like where is... Like, when you actually, like... like That's why I understand why a lot of the parents these days don't even want their child to have Instagram or none of that stuff. Because the first thing they're going to probably bump into is a girl on OnlyFans and be like, Wow, she looks great. I want to be like her. Are you sure you want to be like her, or do you just want her body type? I think you better choose her body type. I think that would be a more smarter thing. <laughs> Why? Women don't need to know how to be a 304 in order to then learn 
about to be a housewife. I'm, you know, truth be told, I'm beginning to understand why so many modern women today are just confused. Like, they, they hear so much different words and information regarding what they should and should not be doing for both men and women. Start to understand, y'all, just a little bit more. Uh -huh. No, because I had my husband first and went and left somewhere else and had to come back to him. Oh. Uh -uh. But, what is happening right now? What? I had my husband first and went and left somewhere else and had to come back to him. Oh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Imagine your wife is on a public platform talking about she went to go mess with someone else. She went and got her dress stool from the pookie from around the corner. And then when she was done with that situation, she came back to the original good guy who had probably not understood his own worth. What's crazy about this is that the young lady right here is actually agreeing with him. But hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. They need to start making movies, bro, like this, about stuff like this. Instead of making movies about this superhero bull crap sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Or at least input that into there, making an awareness, all right? I mean, they do that already enough in the movies, like before Superman even became Superman. The Man of Steel movie, for example. No one even knew he was that strong until he was, like, until he started, until that girl that, that witnessed her his power have pushed that bus up from the the water and saved everybody's life. Yeah, you know, you know what? And it's not even a good enough example because it's because I'm talking about like let's say that girl was like a girl that didn't notice about him being an actual good person. All right, like man, it. Oh my gosh, it's just like if you were to wrap superman's life like life and tried to place it in the daily life that actually goes on here it's sick man like superman would never have a jane a mary jane or whatever the freaking uh her name is okay like yo gwen like no like spider-man would not be having no gwen stacy I don't even think she realizes that she is, even though she said no. But her need to be right is preventing her from grasping that. But it sounds like to me, when she was young, she met her future husband, but then left him to go have fun with the exciting guy, and then came back later when she ultimately realized the first guy's worth, which is essentially what the first young gentleman was alluding to by saying, I'd rather her be with the future for a little while, I guess to like get ish out of her system. And I think ultimately, the reason why I have a problem with she could have done that with the previous guy. It's just based off of pure economics. And I blew up my options account in the span of just two months. Here's my story. My options account was in the most... R.I.P. to Kevin Here's my Sanders story. Because he used to ask <laughs> modern women what gets more valuable with time and use. But the fact is, is that women in the dating marketplace do not get more valuable with more time and more use. So as women age, they lose value, but then on the contrary, as men age and they develop more of their masculinity and are much more financially stable, they can gain value in the dating marketplace up to a certain amount. This young lady right here is either lucky that A, she was able to hold her perceived value to her ex even though her mileage increased from the guy that she went to in the middle or b the guy that she eventually married did not recognize his own perceived value in the dating marketplace by the time that she came back in the picture that's why see bro i just don't man that's it's just so corny bro that's just like a high school musical it's like a high school musical type thing like she dropped the pencil just to get with the pen, but knowing that that pen doesn't erase, so now she tried to return back to the pencil, and the pencil now already moved on because he because the pencil already sees the word. That's crazy as hell, bro. See, and the pencil and the pencil just sitting there like. There we go. There we go. She's for the streets. Got her ass. Got her ass. Like, yeah. All up on you. Like, no no escape. Like, you really thought you was going to slide with that. Thinking you can go to the pen. Because you want to say it's more exciting because it got colors and stuff. All oh, the pencil's too boring. Yeah. And now you were trying to return to that because you know that was peace and tranquility. Get the heck out of here.
See, there will, there is some drama things you can do with even boring people. Okay, like you just they just don't they don't have that creativity in mind. That's just like with girls when they talk about sizes and heights and all this stuff. That means that that, that, that truly seems like in a sight of my own. In my own perspective, they lack creativity. They don't know how to. That, that's just like taller women that are like six five. Like if I if I like in a sense, if a girl could be the creative in a sexual sexually and also in a in a in a sense with just height differences, like yo, I'm telling. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yo, yeah, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. You move on to a whole pin just to try to move back with the pencil. Like, how dare you? Like, what you did there was permanent. Get it? Because of the ink? Because that good guy now turned into a pin with the eraser now. And he erased you from memory. You're dead to you're dead to him. You're lonely. You're gonna be sitting there with the cats in the apartment or some shit. Look at you. Now you're looking stupid. Oh, let me put some more makeup on and mask yourself from your natural actual body that you really have. Then you know a lot of men would actually favor if you just took off the makeup. And then and then try to say, oh, it was a society. I'm oppressed by a society, so I have to put makeup on. Head ass. I think it's so important for men to truly understand what their value is and that they are affirmed for it. It's kind of like if you have a car, and let's say you went and you got the car appraised. Well, it seems as though the modern women today are undervaluing you as an appraisal, which became blatantly obvious when you watched R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, his show, where you were seeing these very average or below average women that were looking for these high value ultra rare men so to conclude either the man undervalued himself or she's a really good saleswoman but man please if anything you're not doing good things to your married man's ego by letting everyone know that you left him for a worse option exactly dang every time women go out dressing overly sexual they're putting men life in danger man it's not even just that bro like i understand that this society doesn't like allow women to be able to walk around with you know under boob you know or be able to walk around with her thighs just hanging out because our, you know, because our booty also shows a lot of like print, you know, a lot of definition in them pants, you know. I mean, it's a nice sunny day. Got the wind, just. Whew. I understand that, but some guys, like you know, again, will still think. Because for first off, they'll think that you're not even. You're single. They'll think that you're single, right? You know, just walking along. Next thing you know, you try to call your, your boyfriend saying that this guy keeps touching you and all this. Trying to cause a problem when you was the one who chose to wear that. Knowing good and well what that also brings. Knowing good and well you look already voluptuous enough. You might as well wear a hijab. Because then when I get there, hijabs. But now I have to weave that and take off that crown because he definitely got dethroned. Or maybe it's about somebody else about to be grabbed by their throat. Thinking you could protest to me talking about, oh, he's touching me when you had to close for it. More like a sell off. Because definitely you had put them all in the trap. Now they're not. Thirsty at all. <laughs> They're not even thirsty anymore. You thought those guys had ADHD. You looked like Adderall. Like, nah, man. I'm not. Like, these women got, like, some problems, bro. Like, they think they can just walk outside with their sundresses on and then be thick 
and all that and showing all that that them 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 cheeks showing all them cheeks you know here comes the sun do 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 no it ain't none of that you know that song does sound fire though i do like this song <laughs> it's all right <laughs> okay 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 Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'll just say that. <laughs> look, look, I'm just saying, man. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's just quite something. Like, it, it's, I find it corny when women dress all like that and they know they got a man's, you know? Like, I understand, like, at that point, I, I feel like more like the girls are just trying to search for freedom. But, like, why are you, is that the sort of freedom you want? Because then you're going to be even more encaged with what you dress with because you're going out disrespecting the relationship, including yourself, by just wearing that and then not expecting nobody to say something like or a guy to not walk up and be like, damn, girl, you looking fine. Like, yo, just wear wear more appropriate. Like, I don't even care if you look like dress like a bum, dress like a bum, literally just dress like a bum. Like, what are you, why are you going out there to, like, like, I understand you, like, dressing the way you do, but, like, if, at that point, if you know that you look fine, dress like a bum when you go outside. Just dress like a bum. Just don't even put no makeup on. Put a freaking, a hat on. Look like a tomboy for, for once in a while. <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> freaking, forget that mascara or whatever the freaking makeup thing is. Victoria's Secret and shiz. Like, forget that. Nah. Go ahead and look like a bum for a little bit. Look like look like Belly Eilish, but just without the makeup, and then try to smother like probably put like a like a little like a little birthmark kind of makeup. Like you could use makeup for that, make yourself look a little. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Great question. See, that, look. I, Look at all the thirst traps on Instagram. And I hope most of those gals on there are single. I'm just going to say that right now. Because if you're in a relationship and they're doing stuff like that. Or such as even twerking on the internet. Doing all that stuff. Like they're mighty disrespectful bro. I'm not going to lie. That's mighty disrespectful. Like you don't see a guy freaking. Like I understand in some cases for a guy. It's, a, it's in a different kind of like. Um. How people how would people how people say it marketing stream or some shiz like and just be like you know the guy be doing silly stuff doing the same things like girls would do but like they the guys do it in more of a comedic reason such as like twerking and stuff like that like it's different for a guy to do that than it is for a girl okay because when a girl does that they get sexualized they get called this and that you know like it's it's different it's different I don't know why I I honestly can see the double standards. But then again, if a girl wants to be like, oh, I have this, I have a man's and all that stuff, then you go ahead and stop being disrespectful and showing your tits or some stuff like that. Stop showing it off, damn it. It's advertising. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is facts. Like, she's, like, no, I don't want to ever see no girl walking around and saying that I'm just loud and proud. You are a head-ass for that. You're literally placing yourself in deception. Do you not understand that a lot of those guys coming at you that are going to keep on talking to you? And then you're going to be like, and then and then you're going to act like you know all these, like, how all men are like. Like, get this stuff, get that stuff out of your head. Like, get, literally take that, go fishing in your head and reel out all those fish that you just put in your head because that is not how every man is going to talk to you if, like if like in a sense like you're the one who dressed like that of course you're going to get eyes you're you, you're going to dress like that okay of course some guys are going to walk up to him and be like hey you got a nice butt your donkeys is mighty big Like, like, I just don't get. It. Like, like, I'm, I, like, I'm trying to be funny as I possibly can, but I'm really serious at the same time. Like, yo, yeah, I gotta chill. Yep. 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 Yep.
You got a whole man's at home. Why do you need someone else's attention? Status. Ego. I had the honor of conducting this conversation with Sister Shahrazad Ali, and it was way. I watched this. This was really good, though. I mean, she brought up so many fantastic points. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave a link to that full conversation down in the comments or the description box down below so you guys can check out it was about an hour and a half conversation she hit so again like let's, let's talk about it again okay and i understand that if there's any women watching this they're gonna be like but what if blah, 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 blah. okay so like let's say the guy walks outside with the with and he he obviously goes to the gym or whatnot you know it doesn't look like much if he were to like wear a hood wear a hoodie or something for example but if he goes out, let's say he goes outside with a whole entire, like, like sleeveless shirt showing off all his muscles and stuff, right? Got some shorts on. You see his calf meat just hanging out, right? He goes outside and everything just to be dressing like that. Got the shades on, walking out. Next, you know, he, he, there's a whole bunch of girls just, like, all on him. I mean, in a sense... Like, that guy should know better to be not dressing like that in some cases. Because then again, he knows that he's going to be attracting women doing that. Like, that just shows that he also wants some validation from various other women. Like, love is not a competitive thing. It should, You shouldn't be, like, competing over each other at all. Like, understand if that's, like, your kink or something, that that's what you do. Like, to, to like, try to be competitive toward each other. Like... Like, at that point, I feel like most of the time you guys are just trying to do an open relationship at that point. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, if, like, again, like, that's just weird. Oh, like, okay, since he's, she seems to be on her phone a lot today, or, like, she's always on her phone, so I'm just going to go ahead and dress like this. And then next, you know, she's going to be questioning why you dress like that, why are you going out there looking like that. But then if, like, if it were to be him questioning her, she's going to get upset and try to yell and all this stuff and try to get all in his face about it. It's, a, it's such a weird concept. It's such a weird concept, bro. It's really so weird. so many gems, but she's absolutely right. See, the thing is, is that there's so many modern women today that have been tricked that their sexuality publicly displayed is some type of empowerment Couple just where he jabs you don't even have to be a muslim to wear that stuff just cover your body up of their relationship shit i remember that one story we did have some respect not too long ago and she was talking about that she was jealous that her man gets hit up by groupies but she don't get hit up for being a traditional housewife that's why she transitioned into putting her ass cheeks up on instagram and different photos like this which i think is an embarrassment to someone who would be lame but nevertheless lame ladies and gentlemen when i worked Girls that do that are lame. Girls that already do that, I just see them as lame, okay? But it's absolutely crazy to me that Sister Shahrazad Ali wrote her book 30 years ago and is still talking about the same things as what she did 30 years ago. If that doesn't demonstrate the difficulty in holding modern women accountable, then I don't know what is but what i also found interesting about this post is the comments on the side let's just go through a quick couple of them if we breathe we're putting them in danger i roll it's crazy to me that you have an elder pleading with you and this is the type of hyperbole that you use to deflect off of the point but you know it is what it is it's giving little girl put on some clothes your uncles are coming over again these are the top comments completely disregarding anything that she was saying regarding the risk of your attire i hear you man but it's hot outside nana this ain't it sorry ma'am you're pretty much telling women to stay inside overly sexy could be a damn t-shirt and basketball shorts no it's not <laughs> like, what what are you talking about all right Ma'am, I could wear a garbage bag and still draw unnecessary attention. It's not our fault. Men need to control themselves. Also, it's hot outside. Hot what? No. No. Oh, I swear I don't like when girls say that. I can wear a garbage bag and still draw unnecessary attention. It's not our fault. Men need to control themselves. So if, a, so if a guy was to wear like a nice suit and all that stuff and have a nice scent on him and then the next you know it's women all on him then what or the guy can the guy can wear a gosh darn freaking 
garbage bag and look like a freaking model and be walking around and have a nice scent on them or some shiz. And then he's going to be like, these women need to control themselves. One of them tried to snatch off my bag. I had a, a garbage bag pants style on and they tried to snatch it off. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. And then you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Look at the look at her name, bro. <laughs> Yo. So seductive 127. You gotta be kidding me, bro. <laughs> You sound like a you sound like a complaining thirst trap. Like you sound like a, a thirst trap that literally complains about people that you keep on attracting, knowing good and well that you are the like you gotta lo learn how to dress a certain way for yourself. Have some respect towards yourself as you have your respect towards yourself in a relationship as well as you should. Okay, have respect for yourself. Jeez, that's all it is. Yes, it's just simple. I agree. Men do need to control themselves. Yeah, dude, guys, do should you guys should control yourselves though? Okay, I I mean, I've been I forgot to mention that you guys should control yourselves. Like if just because a girl is wearing something like that, she obviously is probably going to most likely get validation from various other men. That you don't have to be part of that. Okay, just just let you know. Like there are times when guys actually take it too far. Okay, I do get that. I there are guys that take it too far and be like, damn, and be like following her around and shit, or probably like stalking or taking pictures or some shit like y'all gotta really control yourself like seriously this is just random stuff i'm saying right away like this is random like examples and shit like i just want to let you know like there's there's people out there that need to get there's literally like a guy that was talking to like someone right and was trying to like bring them home or some shit it was a it was a yeah <laughs> it was just uh, i'm not trying to put people like oh, it's kind of weird Whoa, let's see. Hold on. What happened? I got a WAP? So, wait, are you saying you're a gothic woman with a WAP? I got the WAP. For some reason, I just thought about a magic carp. I'm not gonna lie. I got the wop. You have a wop. A gothic woman with a wop. You got got the wop. You got the wop. Of course, you got the wop. But you're a gothic woman with the wop. Is that what that means? I'm so confused by this name right now. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, <laughs> I got the wop. Yeah. That, it. Hey, God. Hey, God. Uh, hey, thank you for the follow. Okay, thank you for giving me the wop with that follow. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I got the wop as well. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. I was going to say a joke, but I was just like, no, that wouldn't make no sense. Yeah. I Thank you. I got the WAP for the follow, though. I really appreciate that. <laughs> of calling yourself so seductive. Calling <laughs> that is exactly what I was just talking when about. I'm good, I'm great. When I'm bad, I'm better. And, and whatever. Sagittarius. Like, all of this shit. Like, how you say all of these things and you promote this goodness about you, but also this dark seduction thing about you and think you can just wear and look however it is that you want to look but not accept accountability for how people will treat you out in the streets so don't even get me started with the astrologist oh my gosh sometimes i look at it at this point and be like y'all don't y'all don't use it right okay i'm be honest a lot of you astrologists that have like you know with the you know the zodiac sign stuff like y'all don't use it right bro like, doesn't matter what zodiac sign someone is, it always can work out. Like, you got, like, you, that, I don't understand why I think that, oh, oh, you're a Taurus. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. Like, 
Wow. So you just don't even want to give someone a chance just because they're a, a, a different from you? How how racist do you got to be as a Zodiac sign? Hold, like, like you knoweth of this stuff. Like, how dareth you? Like, are you serious? Wow. So you're just not going to try to give somebody a chance? Like, here you go running away and stuff. Like, and no, I'm not going to tell you guys my, my Zodiac sign, okay? I'm not telling you guys my Zodiac sign yet, okay? We don't care. Just get with the video. We're here for your commentary and the video and just whatever you do on here because it's pretty entertaining, I guess. Just get into it. That doesn't make me happy. I don't, I don't, like, that doesn't make me happy, okay? <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and check. <laughs> It's okay for you to try to entice, but it's all on the man's responsibility to not treat you exactly how you're dressed, irrespective of there being another man there. Like, yes, the man should be respectful. But bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I if I ever talk, if a girl came up to me and talked to me, and she had her like her boobs out, like almost to where it looks like she got her boobs out, and knowing that she could wear something that clearly can cover that stuff up, I don't know. If, like I like it depends on how she speaks to me, I guess, but. I don't know. Like, I just... Uh, it's hard. It's, it'll be hard to, like, just be like, wow, this girl's into me and all that. But it's just like, wow. This is how you rep... This is how you present yourself? This is how you, like, you know... It, are you, like, trying to show off or something? Like, you know, because I don't really be thinking about her showing off. But I know some people just wear that because they feel so uncomfortable with, you know, certain weather or something like that. I can understand that in some cases. But you can still wear certain clothes without showing off all that you know what i mean like kind of looking like you just came from the strip club and you just got like you know five hundred dollars and went shopping you know <laughs> like <laughs> i'm just being honest bro like i don't i don't see myself trying to be with you after that like come on that's the respect i can understand if you wear some like some shorts you know I guess it's all about appearance i guess i don't know like if you i don't know it's it's a weird concept you just got to understand the person be open-minded don't always just like you know kick out everybody and not take people seriously especially if they're trying to like be in some kind of dating thing with you just you know but on the flip be open-minded side, why are you opening up yourself for disrespect and analogy you could think of is why would i wear jewelry in an unfamiliar hood it puts me in that much more of a risky situation chances are i would reduce that risk by not standing out <laughs> Okay, um, 23k for her 23rd birthday it says right here 23k for her 23rd what the freak bro where's my where's my k at Where, where's my thousands what the pause by the way <laughs> pause Man, why are you worried about what you know what it is? Just open it up. Be appreciative. Look, I I know it may seem like I'm being a hater right now, but what in the living poopy doop, poopy scoopy whoop, scoopy whoop, poopy scoopy, scoopy whoop is going on here? And y'all over here doing all this screeching and stuff. <laughs> oh no, let's just finish the video first. Let me let me finish this first. How is she not like? Like, yo. Do you not, like... Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Okay. She, she don't look excited. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, she does not look excited. Like, that's for... You just got... you Like, literally... 
nobody gets that on their birthday like that. Like, unless, like, they were with someone that's obviously, like, famous or something. Like, This girl acting like she does, like she like, bro. <laughs> wow, the entitlement of like, I don't know. I'm guessing she's trying not to act like overly excited, but also try to control her excitement. I guess, like, but I don't know. You can, like, you can tell if someone's controlling their excitement sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, you better be deep throating this guy when you get home. I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to hear that. Like, you over here acting all like, yeah, I'm getting this money. I'm gonna go get a Louis Vuitton. Wasted on stuff that has nothing to do with any like, oh, you could put that into investments or something like, put that into something important or something like. I understand like you know do what you want with your money, but like be like actual thoughtful about it. Like if I was given that like legit, I would have been using that for something important for myself and actually would have like like really ran with that in a sense. If in a like, but she's just gonna be walking with it. Like, she's gonna have a bunch of purses and all this stuff that's not even that she's not even gonna wear two weeks later. Like, <laughs> like she's just gonna get that back, and this is gonna be sitting there because she's gonna be looking at the next bag. Oh my gosh! And then she's not gonna even wear it for like she's not even gonna wear the purse. She's just gonna buy it one day and just be like, I kind of like that purse though. Like, oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know. Let's rap about this. Let's say I was in a relationship and I was giving my lady half of the average salary that a United States citizen makes in a year. Listen to that. Like, like <laughs> you hear? <laughs> you hearing that? In one day, she better be way more excited than that. Exactly. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man like it's so corny just like i just it just feels like i can already see like how displeased he looks in his eyes just given all that like i would expect her to be freaking jumping on top of the table with excitement throwing chairs around or some shit no nah, she was just sitting there like yeah it was meant for me my man my, my man we cool I, I did like this is it's just it's supposed to be like this <laughs> because the way that she just acted within this video he should have just gave her coal listen man she better be freaking draining his balls by the time he when he gets home like i am not kidding like if a if a guy ever does this for you lady like ladies out there that's watching this right now if a man does this for you better drain his freaking balls you better freaking suck it like, just out of equivalence. I'm not trying to hear that, oh, it's your birthday. Nah, give him that birthday gawk gawk because of the appreciation towards him with the gift that he gave. Gave and things. Dang it. You better freaking be excited. The hell? <laughs> People don't make that throughout the year, man. <laughs> and this is something that wealthy men oh do for gosh. their wives, but to do this for your girlfriend, you see the manipulative. I hope she does the same thing for him on his birthday. I guess nothing about 10k or some shit. Sister code as it exists today. Compliments from city girls and the like make young men feel inadequate until he has the opportunity to splurge on his young lady, whether she deserves it or not. But my G. You better not be spending twenty three thousand dollars on her if you're still look at his face, bro. Note or paying for an apartment. Think through this before the entire scent brigade comes at me. What does she do for you, bro? Tell us some. This is why I tell young brothers so often is that until you get older, you begin to see the matrix that you are in, which is designed to make you a consumer. Focus on investing into yourself focus bro you could have bought so many beats with that your debt focus on gaining a high income earning skill instead of investing into relationships you could use that money for a down payment bro i'm that's crazy bro i'm surprised she did i'm just surprised personally that she didn't just get up and probably hug the shit out of him or something like freaking come here man 
appreciate you. Like, are, are freaking trying to, dr- like, literally, like, smother him with love or something. Like, at love and appreciation. Like, what is going on these days, bro? Like, yo. House, put it in your investment portfolio. But instead, you choose to splurge it on someone who is clearly ungrateful. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me over the turtles and reviews at gmail.com. I mean, I I would understand like that's the that's the kind of like in a sense the way she did it, like the way she acted. That's the kind of that's the kind of act I give. Not even an act. That's just personally how I I will like be looked at when I'm get when I'm unraveling the next bundle of like underwear from Christmas. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I would I would be like this with underwear. But if I got if I was given twenty three thousand dollars for my birthday, yo, <laughs> that's a whole different act. Like you're, I'm not even gonna act. That's just gonna be genuinely me smothering you with like hugs and and all types of stuff. Like yo, what? Do you know how grateful someone has to be to be given such money like that? Like yo. Like, there's so much, like, stuff you can think about with, like, that you can use that. You can probably just say, like, you know what? I'm not going to spend a single dollar on it. I'm going to put all that into savings or some shit. Like, no, let's go ahead and buy some heels that you're never going to wear probably 30 days later. Gosh. Because you already bought, like, 30 other heels along with it. And now you're out of it. Ah. Exist today. Compliments from city girls and the like make young men feel inadequate until yeah i just like i i can't i'm not gonna say that's all city women okay all city women do not act like this all city girls don't act like this i know there's some girls out here that are damn near should be like grateful that are grateful for something like that they would freaking do who knows how much superhuman shiz she would do towards her man like the night that she goes home like i'm gonna be honest like i hope she like when she got home with him and went home i hope and and that you know he got like a lot of you know box or a lot of wop you know <laughs> get it but anyway but like <laughs> like got a lot of uh, attention if you know what i mean or at least like you know like just plotting on the next move that she would do for him like reciprocate that stuff you know the opportunity to splurge on his young lady whether she deserves yo that's crazy like like man like i would understand if she was the one in the beginning that was given all this extra money towards him and all that and then this is how she like how he comes back with like also with like you know depth but also in a sense of like gratitude with what she like went through to keep him like you know in it like around or something like that like, I'd understand that, but in the fact that she's, like, acting like it's just barely much of anything, like, that's the reason, that's the reason why I tell you, like, when a woman is with an average man, and, like, they both are, like, it's just that, that struggle, and I guess sometimes the suffering here and there that you both take, and the fact that the man, like, gets big with his money, and she, or she gets big with her money, well, 10 out of 10, like, depends on how wise she is as a person, you know? Like, she could probably just leave him. You know what I mean? Like, just leave and then just, like, go ahead and just, like, be like, freak it. You know? Like, just start leaving, trying to be like, you know, I don't need you no more. I have all this now. Like, it's crazy, bro. Over some material, you give up something that was so beautiful for some material that's not even going to last a second. Because once you go to that store, it's over with. And now you're just going to be sitting there like, damn. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Whoops. That's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I would look at her like, man, what the? Man, give me this shit. <laughs> give me this shit, man. 